Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome to more Let's Play Mother 3. In the last part, we got to Ionia's house, and in this part, we... I did some off-screen grinding, and I got the mystical stick for Lucas, which required me to kill a lot of hefty heads. But I also did some item purchasing and shuffling. As you can see, Lucas has the memento and a bunch of healing items. Kumatora has some revival items. Duster has a crap load of grilled chickens, and... Boney has some pencil rockets, which make him a bit more useful. And here we have Mr. Red Riding Saturn. Polished into shiny sparkle thing. No worries, I give it back at you. The Courage Badge was none other than a Franklin Badge. Farewell, farewell. And now that we have a Franklin Badge, we can deflect projectiles! Oh, sorry. Wrong game. We can deflect lightning! Huzzah! And as we head up here, we're going to enter a fairly difficult battle. And we are greeted with a cutscene. And in this cutscene, we have a clay man trying to bust through these vines, which, of course, as we know, are frozen in time. They don't, but we do. So, the masked man's gonna go in and give it a shot. And it looks to me as if he's going to throw a bomb, which will then go bomb, and the clay man is pretty dead. Which is unfortunate for the clay man, I guess. Now, the Masked Man's gonna try to get in there, but even the bomb had no avail, so that's very unfortunate for him. And as you can see, they're not too happy with our presence, and we are greeted by a Pig Mask Colonel and two Pig Mask Majors. These guys can be tough if you're under level, but I'm not, because I just spent like two hours grinding off screen, so... I'm gonna start with PK Flash just because it can do so much. And I'm going to try a. Um, what do I want to do? Well, let's just attack. And Duster will try the smoke bomb. I doubt it works. In fact, yeah, let's just attack. And the Thunder Bomb is more useful here than it will be in the next battle, so we're going to use that as opposed to a pencil rocket. Those time bombs go off in a few turns. I don't remember how many. But it's quite a few. Now, he has a device that can somehow make PSI shields, which is rather unfortunate, I must say. And I'm bad at rhythm battlings. Although... Wait, maybe not. Wait, alright, yes! 16 hit combo for the win, biatch. And we got one crying and one feeling strange, and it ha nothing happened to the other. Which, you know, crying is a good status ailment to give someone. It severely cripples their accuracy. And we're just gonna keep hitting him with physical attacks. And unfortunately, our time bomb exploded, but he also died. These guys are not hard in comparison. I'm gonna heal Lucas with some grilled chicken, I think. And mortal damage. Fortunately, we have the rolling HP meter. This game would be nigh impossible without it, kind of like Mother 1. But the Mother 1, this game, they give you high dealing hits knowing that the rolling meter is there, so, you know, not all is lost. Granted, this game also has the feature where sometimes would be fatal moves leave you with one hit point. That's also possible to happen. And he should be dead in this turn if we all physically attack. Which is good, he wasted his turn with, turn with a time bomb as Boney killed him. And I'm going to wait for my HP to roll all the way up. Shouldn't take long, I only have that much. And no levels, that's kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? And here we have the Masked Man. And some dramatic effects. Woo. And I bet you anything he tries to attack us. It looks as if there's some kind of connection going on between them. And that was a bad idea, Mr. Masked Man. Because lightning deflects off of a Franklin badge. And the Masked Man. I, he has either 2,000 or 5,000 HP. I will go back and verify later. 
I'm going to start off with the defense up Omega, which raises all of our defense, and I'm going to try to lower his offense with not Omega, with Alpha, because they're exactly the same, except, you know, there's only one person, so there's no need for more than Alpha. And the Scary Mask is a good item to use because it decreases his offense. It doesn't always work, but it, it works often enough to be worthwhile. And raising everyone's defense is a good idea. And that beam is horrible. And the electric shock attack, which managed to hit everyone except the guy I would like it to. Because this game isn't fair. But I'm gonna hopefully not waste too much time here. And I would actually recommend not attacking with PSI, PSI, but of course I wasted a turn with the Otter Hat. I meant to use the Pencil Rocket, but PSI isn't very effective on him, but the most effective type of PSI is Thunder. So, if Kumatora is strong enough to actually deal significant damage, you know, without PSI, I definitely would recommend you do that instead, but... That's not often the case, and Boney got hurt, which means that when Duster uses that grilled chicken, it's just gonna go to Lucas. Great. Fortunately, we have some... Fortunately, we have some revival items. And this fight is not going the way I would like it to. No one should be dead yet, but it's okay. I, I, I think I'll win, because you know what? I can say with 100% certainty that I will win this fight, because if I don't win this fight, you won't be seeing this video. I'm not going to keep a fail take when I have save states, you kidding me? Boney's alive! And he wasted his life with a shield killer. Even though none of us have a shield. He's what you call an idiot. And Love Gamma is the opposite of good. And hopefully I can get some life up. I wish I had life up Omega right now, but I don't. So, there's not really much else I can do. I'm just gonna have everyone heal themselves. And hopefully, no one will die. We ended up going in just the right order, because... I don't think Kunikura would have survived if she hadn't been first, and to, oh, him missing was very fortunate. Franklin badge deflected, which is nice and handy. I'm gonna try Flash again, even though, like I said, I doubt it'll do anything, but it's worth a try. And let's let's use the grilled chicken. Kumator is looking low. Actually, never mind. Yeah, it, it didn't work. It's lovely. Kumator is so dead. Yeah, Love Alpha is going to kill Kumator and Duster. So I'm going to use a secret herb on her, and I'm going to let Duster heal himself. Hopefully, he doesn't die. Oh, that was so close. Oh my gosh. Now, this is going to kill them. With the exception of Lucas. It did kill Kumatora. That's pretty unfortunate. Hopefully, Lucas attacks early enough to keep her alive. Too bad. Well, it looks like he's healing himself. It's okay, I've got some reviving items. And don't kill Duster. Alright, good. Cup of Life Noodles. And... Let's heal up Duster. He's looking pretty low. Kumatora has full health, which is nice. Very nice indeed. And my Franklin badge worked like a dream as always. Now, let's revive Boney so we can get some pencil rockets in. And, of course... Let's try the Tickle Stick. It, probably, it doesn't always work. In fact, it fails more often than it works. But, you know, if we can get his defense down, we can make this fight a lot easier on ourselves. So, you know. Yeah. Boney's dead again. I recommend you do everything you can to keep him alive until he runs out of pencil rockets. And I wasted my life with the Otter Hat again, because I'm an idiot. Isn't that wonderful? But I digress. We can get a couple hits on him. 
without a problem, and PK Love Alpha, which fortunately won't kill any of us. But darn it, it'll hurt us bad. I'm going to physical attack with Lucas, which may or may not be a good idea. And let's make sure we revive Bonnie. Please work. Cool. That helps a lot. Because as you can see, my hits do quite a bit more damage now. And let me guess, he hits Boney. Well, at least he hit the one person who he's allowed to hit. And yet, I'm just gonna wait for Kumator to die, actually. And Boney, don't waste your life with an Otter Hat. You ought to be laughing at that move. Sorry. That was a horrid joke, I promise I'll never do that again. Of course he killed Boney. It's hard to act quick, quick enough, too. That's part of the problem. At least Boney got his hit in before he, you know, died. Thunder Beta. Wasted one of my two Thunders. Oh yeah, I should also mention that Thunder permeates PSI Shields and Counters. So it's a, go it's a good move to use. It, when you can, obviously. If the person you're fighting is weak to it, you obviously don't want to use it, because it would be a waste, but it will permeate counters, and of course, everybody's gonna die now, because that's just the way this game likes to work. So now, it's every man for himself, as far as healing goes. Three of them dead in a row. Isn't that wonderful? I think I might have one five life left. I have one secret herb. Now I get to choose who to use it. I'm gonna use it on Kumatora because I think she also has a secret herb and can, you know, just dot, turn around and die right after she comes back. Of course. Well, now you know what this is all about. Let's see what we can do here. Nothing. Love Alpha, and I'm so dead. Let's use Life Up Gamma, and hope for the best. And now is where we just spam the physical attacks. So, hit him, and that's good. The electric shock attacks are the best time for him to use them is when only Lucas is alive. Because he can he's kind of powerless then. And let's revive ourselves with some life of gamma. And we're not going to have enough left to use it again. That's very unfortunate. He's going to fire his beam and get a smash, somehow, on a non-physical attack. I'm not quite sure how that works. Now we're just going to mash him repeatedly. And hope for the best. So... Lethal damage, this is where you just start pounding at him, because I want to get as many hits in as I can before I have to waste my memento. So, after I've used the me memento, we'll start healing. But it looks like using it will be unavoidable. But see, it's good to let him use it. So yeah, Lucas would be dead, but he has Missy's memento, which is very fortunate. And it vanished, but that's okay. He, he is almost dead. I kind of wish I hadn't had to use that. I was pretty close, but it's okay. I beat him. And I got a crap ton of experience because only Lucas was alive. But I leveled up. Don't really care about that right now because it wasn't a significant level up. That's right, Master Man. Zap yourself and cower in your defeat because I am better than you. And I know it. Oh, you coward. Running away, are we? Well, you can't run from your feelings. But, um, that's gonna do it for this part, because I just can't believe I won that, so... Yeah, let's get Duster's items, and let's heal everyone, shall we? So, yeah. I'm gonna heal up my party, and that's gonna be it for this part, so... Next time on Mother 3, we're going to go in the temple, but until then, I'm Homestar92, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you next time. Later.